Da -ra 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 -ra. Oh, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Farm Sim D. So we're on episode 98, <laughs> and we've got a lot of things to do in this episode. We've got the sorghum field to take care of, and we've got the uh. Yeah, it's a sorghum field. And we've got the potatoes. So that's going to be interesting. Um, we're up to 395,000 as you can see as I had to go through the months. Um, yeah, I could have driven through our yard. Yeah, I don't know why I've put the gate here if we don't use it. <laughs> well, as you can see, the sorghum is ready to go. Luckily this unit runs like a wild beast. So let's switch that off. I don't know if I want to run back. But yeah, we've got potatoes to go as we need to get our pizzeria going. If I'm not mistaken, did I not bring a tractor over here and parked it here to move this? But I didn't move it yet. I'm almost certain I did bring the red Massey. Oh yes, there it is. Hello, baby. Okay, so let's pull the header out of here. And it looks like we're going to be getting rain. Um, there's nothing on the screen, but I'm assuming that the rain will be coming. It's very cloudy at the moment. We'll climb out now and check what that looks like. Uh, which side does the header connect? On my left. Okay. So let's turn like this, baby. Turn and burn. Okay, let's detach from... I need the header to stay there. Yeah, just like that, Baba. Switch this off. As you can see, it's very cloudy. Well, please let me know if my audio is okay, because I've moved all my stuff into... Like I've told you, I've ordered the whole racing seat simulator situation while I'm sitting in that and playing now. I had to move everything over. <laughs> it was a whole situation. Detach from that. Unfold the header. Unfold the combine. Uh, in case I can enable. I know there's no straws worth here. But we're going to just do the headlands. Then we're going to run over to the potato harvester. Then for the potatoes, I might be time-lapsing quite a bit. Uh, I'm not going to time-lapse everything. What's going on now? Oh, it is collecting. Sorghum all the way, baby. So at least... We're getting this in. Was there a reason for me to do sorghum? Don't know, but yeah. We've got it now. I think almost it's planting time for the wheat as well. Oh my golly, the wheat can also be planted. Well, we've got quite a lot to do. What do we have on special today though? At the used item. We've got that trailer. Uh, Sugarcane, no thank you. Uh, no thank you. And a header, no thank you. We've got most of it. Well, I just want to cut the headlands here and then we're going to release this on a worker to carry on. The yield is looking quite nice. I'm thinking of doing one huge wheat run. Um, maybe this field will suffice for that. Let me know in the comments what you think before we plant. I think I'll only plant the other field in the next episode. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, this is a new episode. So directly after recording this, I will be uploading this onto YouTube. So let me know if you think I must put wheat in here. Hmm. Big situation on its own. I know we are in trouble with a sunflower. As let me show you. Uh, let's go down. Please go down more. 
if we go to over to our sunflower production there we go we've got all of oil sunflower oil none so i don't have sunflower seeds to make sunflower oil um, this i had to shut down because we've got too much olives going on in there yeah also our sunflower is almost out the rest of the productions this i shut down because we've got too much going in on here already uh, that's going great the tomatoes has been switched on but i'm thinking of getting a greenhouse just for tomatoes well basically the rest the wool will always show like that the rest is carrying on the way it should be i just want to enable soya and that one so soya and pizza we should enable the pizzas today which is brilliant and then we're going to test out our brand new combine for potatoes um, first time we're going to use it it's got a colossal tank size which i will quickly show you before we reach the end there uh, i think it's in here of course no that's not our garage please hurry up here it is it's got a 253,300 liter tank wow so we're going to see how that pans out we can use that field for other things as well but as soon as we run out of potatoes so we we purchased the beet harvester and the potato harvester it's one harvest it can do beet and potatoes that's the nice thing about these colossal products um, if i can show you there again sorry guys if you go in there that's the combine if we go into the headers it works on the same unit the potato header if i say combination it works on the colossus root harvester it's a root harvester but you get the header for the different roots so yeah that's quite neat i like the fact that you can do potatoes and sugar beet with the same harvester you don't need individual harvesters to do the job you can just use the same one it works just as great that's fantastic to have though as soon as i release this to go up then we're gonna jump over to the beat combine and we're going to start rolling with the potatoes with that next episode i'll plant the wheat and then i surely want to do two fields of sunflowers because i surely do need a lot of sunflower for our production the grass field has helped us out a lot um, i'm going to leave it grass luckily i do not have weathering on Okay, so that worker can carry on on its merry way. Now I just need to skip through all my millions of vehicles. We've got so many vehicles. There we go. Okay, so let's open this door. What's nice about these harvesters is you can just check. I think this is the potato. Edit. Yep, there's the picture of potatoes. And if we come on top here, there's the picture of sugar beet. Hey. <laughs> So this is a beet header, this is a potato header, this I think is a 4 meter header if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 4 meters wide which is amazing. I love the way how it presses on the accelerator. <laughs> okay, so let's open the door, we've got nothing to sell at the moment. But our sales is looking good on the biogas plant. Um, it's full of manure. Our animals has been tended to. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. Because yeah. Manure reversed into our own trailer there. Now this thing if it unfolds it looks insane. They were attached to the header unfortunately that's the way it's unfolded that's the only downside of the area you can't look through the windscreen as you can see because <laughs> you can't see anything um, if i let my l1 unfold header then it goes nice and flat as you can see there 
and unfold combine now the lights on this thing is pretty rad and this is what the insides look like Giants FM with all the buttons and everything so that looks quite neat and if we come over to the field here remove foliage so that's exactly what we're going to do then I'm going to time lapse most of this not all of it though because yeah just want to make sure this is the first time running this so let's see hmm and check that speed 17 kilometers an hour if you use this header as part of it look how quick this thing runs through it I just love this unit to be honest with you can't remember if this was the field that I redid uh, yeah I almost think so no, this was a new field we put down just for the potatoes which is good it should go through a lot of this field before reaching the end I just want to see the turnaround I don't want to drive over my own crops and damage it because crops crop damage is turned on so I don't want to I'm going to overshoot the ends yeah so please don't say yeah but farm some you're driving the wrong way and blah blah and just look at that header doing its thing 17 k's an hour I mean this unit is next level I love it as you can see it's doing good potatoes are going in it's picking it up from the header going through there separating it from the soil as you can see all the dust from the soil coming out the bottom there then it goes through the spinner blades as you can see there and it takes it up this conveyor belt into this beautiful little hopper I mean 17 k's an hour is quick that for a beet harvester that's next level we've gonna we're gonna have a lot of beets so, or potatoes so I'm thinking of putting some flour in here as well oh and our olive section our olive grove is also ready to harvest so yeah that's gonna happen in the next episode a lot to do but almost no time just drive straight out of there oh wow it cuts nice next to the wheel it leaves some decent distance there just want to see what's the distance like should the worker turn around on his own I just need to keep an eye on the other combine as well that's busy harvesting the sorghum but that should harvest all the sorghum without any problems or reaching capacity so let's see if this is gonna if I send it up turn around on its own and if it does neatly well then we're just gonna let this combine go and I think we're gonna have a little bit of an issue yeah I think it's gonna miss that right row yeah so let me just ooh, don't drive into the crops there farm there's no field so it means it did catch that little bit there there we go I quickly want to check if the olives is ready or is that only in October I'm almost certain we've planted at the last day of the planting schedule just drive around it like that I'm gonna overshoot a little bit because as you can see up there it's not nice and straight I'm gonna overshoot by quite a bit because I don't want to rectify it again 8% capacity wow this can make for a nice oh saving again as usual for a very nice thumbnail I reckon um, yeah and I need to urgently put down another greenhouse just for tomatoes and split the two Uh, 
this is not going to work. Wow, the harvest is almost as quick as I am. I'm going to try to stay with it to get <laughs> to do this one handed. There we go. Sorry guys, me and my thumbnails. But I had to do it. Now, let's see how this worker turns around. How the cutting is going. 11% capacity. We're going to have a chunk load of potatoes. Sip of my coffee. Hopefully you didn't hear me swallow. Well, I like the fact that it goes at 17 kilometers an hour. Let's see how this goes. I was getting a bit stressed there for a second. Okay, there's just one thing I want to enable. So stop the worker right there. Okay, the shoot on the side. Uh. Oh! To open the fans up. Oh, I don't even know that is the. <laughs> okay, that's up and down. How do I... Oh, pipe out. Excuse me. This is quite fanciness. Oh, there we go. I want it like that. Bend over Sally. That just sounds wrong. By the way. I want it high up in the air. Yeah, just like that. So that when I bring the vehicle in here to offload. Okay. Oh, it pulls back automatically. Okay, so it should detect that there's a vehicle there. When I want to offload though. Hmm. The fans are open, but it's not blowing yet. That should start blowing... I don't know when. Was I supposed to switch something on there? I don't think so. Maybe when the combine realizes or when it becomes a bit hot it will kick in. I'm not too sure how that works but I'm almost certain it's at that point. So let me get like a few minutes of time lapse in here. And I'll be back with you guys just now. So, enjoy the music everybody.
so we've done quite a lot I moved the harvester off our field as it was full um, we've got the mulch in there now where the sorghum was this unit almost 90% full I mean I don't even think all of this is going to fit into our auger wagon um, I don't think it's going to fit but we're going to offload one now so I'm going to stop the worker there switch off the beacon lights get that out um, and yeah then we're going to get the production pumping so long uh, hopefully that's the way to park it yes it is and look how quick that's filling up the auger wagon is just filling up big time um, yeah that's a bit too much <laughs> but we're gonna go fill up our production and get that going so long while that's going this unit can carry on working and I also want to see if we can add a another greenhouse in there to do potatoes if there is space for it well hopefully there is I need to spend quite a lot of money as you know we're paying for water now that unit is on its merry way this unit is full well wow. 60,000 liters let's close the cover there let's drive off to our production area which is luckily right here yeah? <laughs> I don't know where to put this in this tractor is pulling a bit hard but that's fine our auger unfolds to that side so I need to go around it well we're gonna put this in now and see if we can start it up so long to get that going um, hopefully we can which side was our chip one this was oh the pizzeria needs this uh, soy drink no that's for yeah that's not for this soy bean needs to go in there into the soy drink um, our drop off area should be around this corner I mean 60,000 liters for one drop it's not bad I just want to zoom out so that you guys can see I just need to get that spout dropped a bit and then open the cover well hopefully this will just go in without any hassles there we go it's offloading into the offloading zone as you can see it's is that full already uh, that shouldn't be full wow it's full okay so the margarita we said the last time was the best for selling let's just make double sure before we do that shall we uh, where's the pizza it should be down here somewhere there the margarita is 8724 6000 7000 well at the moment that's standing at that price I think it's best in Jan so let's start the margaritas up it's set to distributing which it's doing we've got enough cheese on hand i think tomatoes yeah we're lacking a bit of tomatoes olive oil well that's still pumping in uh, hopefully everything will be sorted so our pizzeria is on the go but now we've got like millions of liters of potatoes or hundreds and thousands of liters of potatoes well it's not a bad thing but it's also not the best thing in the world but we'll cope with it and then we'll just see if we can get a tomato greenhouse in here um, by getting a tomato greenhouse then I'm pretty sure we'll be okay I just want to go put this into our silo well I'll have to put it into our animal silo sorry for the U-turn because it's closer to drive here just to fill up the production here is it really? Uh, not really no this is I'm gonna keep on my law sorry guys 
but that silo is just for the animal usage i'm not gonna put production goods in there yes we've got a few production goods which i'm gonna move over there because pretty soon we're gonna put a silo in there for our productions that's gonna be just for crops that we want to sell and this is just going to be for animal use so yeah i'll have to drive down here get that sorted out and yeah then we quickly have a look if we can put up a greenhouse and i think that's where we're going to conclude this one so i'm trying my best to push to get things done and sorted out as quick as possible i still need to landscape this little bit here so that we can drive in here oh it breaks yikes that weight is pushing really hard let's back it up nice and gently get that spout turned there we go get the cover open that's dropping out fabulously just empty this guy out and then we can go see if we can get another greenhouse going and then i need to take the big tanker fill up water get that the enable tomatoes on its own greenhouse disable it on the other greenhouse so that, that greenhouse can just concentrate on what's needed for that specific task so that's done let's fold this up i'm just gonna drive it to where we're busy at the moment and yeah because i mean wow this plane is loud well that's a chopper so we've got a 60,000 litre auger. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is bigger, but do we really want bigger? I don't mind driving 60,000 litres around at a time. I mean, if the harvest of the combine is full, then we might as well just drive the combine over to the silo and empty it from the combine into the silo once it's done with the field. But while it's busy like it is now, yeah, then I'll have to make a plan. I still need to landscape a nice road out here, plow this out this way, get that sorted. Oh wow, it's at 80% again. Uh, well, let's do one offload on the go quickly. See how that pans out. Wow, this really changed now. The sun is behind the cloud there. Well, we've done quite a lot and we've got like 200,000 liters worth already. So that's good. I mean, with our production, it should last us a while. Please don't back up into me, sir. This thing is moving in weird ways, though. But it's nice. I like this combine a lot. I love the Colossus pack. Thank you very much to the modder. There we go. That's filling up very nicely. Hey, hey. Yeah, body. Okay, that's almost filled up. Then the rest of this field, I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it up off screen because I still need to mulch here and get the field ready for the next sowing. But in general, things are looking good i'm not complaining at all i think it's great that we doing what we're doing now um, i really want to add another silo into this yard for the production crops so that we can just come here fill up and then offload well i hope we've got one of those tunnel things for the tomatoes as well so let's go into the construction menu here. Yeah? Quickly check if we've got a greenhouse. Come now. Production. Greenhouse. Hopefully that tunnel one. Ooh. Yes. Body. Is it equal to that one? It's a little bit off. What if I... No. No. Well, I won't be able to get it 100% straight because, as you can see, it doesn't want to. 
trying to get it rectified but it won't let me okay that looks more or less straight is it more or less in line with that one uh, I'm looking at the bricks now that should be it so boom there we go hey <laughs> that was five thousand one hundred and four dollars to put that one down on the ground hopefully everything pans out neatly uh which one did i enable for tomatoes as well was it this one uh yeah i'm gonna switch tomatoes off here because we don't want tomatoes out of that one what's wrong with the eggs now is it over full huh no eggs how can that be that surely can't oh it's distributing i wanted to say no the wool should be full because wow uh let's just make sure of that fact quickly because now it's a bit of a concern did i enable tomato somewhere else as well sorry guys i'm up and down here tomatoes no there's no tomatoes on any of the other okay distribute like that and yeah let's quickly go up there and check the eggs and wool well that should still be up to scratch okay we're at this stage now yeah eggs is distributing wool is distributing so that's looking good this one now is disabled for tomatoes that's only what is it doing now by the way it's only doing the strawberries which is good this one is the tomato one which we're gonna put water in now fill all of these up well the loading of the tanker takes quite a while uh here's that here's that i want to fill up that entire tanker come my trustworthy old beast I wonder if that's not too loud. Let me just zoom out a bit. Oh, it's still got some herbicide left in here. Well, let's get that offloaded. Just back up a little inny bitty bit. There we go. That's empty. I don't know of any other place to pull water from except here. We can't draw water from our pond. So unfortunately, there's our tap. Hey, look at that now. That's going to take quite a while to fill that up. But as you can see at the top right, we are paying for the water. If you know of a mod that gives us free water, please do let me know. Well, while that's, I think, how many clicks over was it? Uh, quite a few. I'm lost now. Well, it's only 5% now. So I'm going to let that fill up because we need all the water that we can get. That is busy mulching away here. Yeah? That is busy harvesting away here. Yeah? So we're almost full here as well uh maybe i should just put enough water in there just to fill up the greenhouse well at the moment as it stands now our pizzeria is on its way everything is up to par we just need water to make the potatoes distribute here yeah. soy drink is still offline um oh yeah i forgot to tell you i think i must show you actually oh uh, yeah so the margaritas is on his way just the tomatoes is still in the red the olive oil is distributing to you so that's looking good do we have olives going all the way over here let's just make sure of that fact before i say something which i'm going to regret later because i do tend to forget yeah we've got olive oil distributing it is active 
all of that is still full as you can see 71,000 liters so um, yeah let's hop over to our this one to get this offloaded and yeah then we're quickly gonna go and check how full the tank is on our way back so get that opened up uh, which one is it again now I've lost my mind uh, let me just get the help screen back here because now I've lost the plot completely yeah? uh, or there we go I want to say what am I doing wrong now we might as well drive over this grass as you can see it's still deducting money it's taking quite a lot of money for the water if you do know of a free mod for free water please let me know in the comments well I don't mind paying for the water but yeah imagine you don't have the money to pay for it well I'll pay for it don't worry about the mod I'll pay for it because we don't want everything for free so we need to work to get that water in real life you don't get water for free you pay for it so that's how I'll go about it I just want to empty this out quickly even if our combine stands still empty it's or full it's fine I just want to get that water in once I've done the water we get that running and that's where we'll conclude this episode even though if the water tank is not full it can be like 50% I don't mind fold that up close the cover so let's get over to our field quickly just take this leave it there I don't think wow if I see that 80% <laughs> I don't think I'm going to empty it out now as yet but yeah I need that tomatoes going because we need those tomatoes urgently instead of one greenhouse doing both I want one greenhouse just to manage or concentrate on doing tomatoes so that we can ensure that our tomato production is going smoothly just to supply tomatoes that will be great just want to see on which side of the fence this combine is and maybe if he's facing the right way we will offload him quick oh yeah he's coming we'll quickly offload him just now he runs out of capacity and he stands still and that's one thing we don't want so i've got my on that note i've got my new racing simulator rig the whole shebang with the steerings and the gear levers and pedals and very nice rig cameras microphones lighting green screens all of that the whole shebang so pretty soon i'm going to be live streaming gran turismo 7 i'm also going to be live streaming aceto corsa um, i'm going to be maybe streaming or episode form formula 122 um, then i'm not gonna quit playing farming simulator i'll never quit playing this game because it is the best simulator in the world and then i might be doing episode forms of city skylines which is a town building simulator which is also great so yeah, i'm adding a few games to the list which i'm gonna be streaming and making episodes so if you want to see those please check out the channel if you haven't subscribed yet please click on that subscribe button i really appreciate it. but yeah that's gonna be good i think um i might be doing episodes of the forest as well we'll just see how things go I've got a few games in my mind which I want to bring to the table which I'm sure all of you will love. Oh, I need to paint around that thing. I've only, I only saw it now. Okay, so this I'm just going to park here. The combine should run quite a while before it goes full. That's switched off. Uh, 
I don't know if we can jump the fence. We should be able to. Yep, there we go. Okay, it's almost there. So let me paint there quickly while that thing is busy filling up the tank. Uh, what do we have in there? Concrete bricks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which way do we want to go? I think it's this way. Yeah, body. Just paint neatly around it so that we have that sort of out. Hehe. <laughs> Look how fancy that's looking with a tree over there. Okay, so let's start this beast up. I'm just waiting for it to eat 90% here. Yeah, well, while that's doing that, let's quickly offload this. So we've got an empty trailer. That's still going to take a little time. Not too much though. Just want to offload this and then we can quickly take the tanker. As you can see, I've got a blue water tanker there. That tank you can download from the mod up. It distributes water from that tanker to your productions. Well, for now, I'm going to do it manually. Oh, wow. I'm traveling at 17 k's an hour. Pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal. But in any case. Uh... Wow. Okay, there we go. Open that up so that you can see. And yeah, that's how we're going to push things on the farm for now. I know next up is sunflower harvest. I've got some planting to do. There's quite a lot to do. I see there's a few. Oh, yes, get this offloaded, Barbara. Well, we've got quite a lot of potatoes. $10,000 on miscellaneous. That should be the water. Yeah, that was the water. That's pretty expensive though for water. But you know what? I'm not going to add a free water mod on here. Let's rather pay for the water. It just feels fair. I think it's fair. Well, we've done three trips. So that's 180,000 liters of potatoes already. Yikes. Well, I'll put it in our, in the caption of the video. That should be cool though. I'm just going to park this there in the front and then we're going to quickly jump over into our lorry and go offload the water into our greenhouse and all the places that needs water. And also then we're going to fill the rest into our water distributor over there. That distributes water to all of our plants that do need water. I was supposed to put it here in the production site, but it's fine. We've got all the liquid tanks over there, so why not do it from there? I think it fits in there, so it looks quite neat. Well, we've got a chunk load of potatoes already. Uh, this field we will be using for other crops. But should the time arise that we need more potatoes, then once I've harvested that crop, then yeah, 100,000 liters. Once I've harvested the, the crop out, then we'll go back to planting our potatoes in there. That's just how it's going to be. So that was 5 or 10,000 liters for 100,000 liters of water, which I still think is a bargain. Put water in there. Which one needed water now? This one has 24,000. 25,000. Yeah, both of them's full. Okay, so I'm just going to drive past all our productions and see which one requires water I don't think these require water nope 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 
None of these take water. I'm not too sure about this one here. No. And this one? Yeah, this takes water. So, offloading there. That's our swathering. And the rest is going to go to our water distributor. So, all of those productions on that side do not require water. So, once I've offloaded this into our water distributor, that's where we're going to conclude this episode. Oh, well. And then, once I'm done, I'll do the rest off screen. Get everything sorted out properly. As you can see, we just dump our water in here. If I can get the trailer pulled in here. No. I think the back end must come in here. I've, I've never filled up this unit, so I don't know. <laughs> Oi, what is that now? I still need to fill up the silage bales there. Let's zoom in a bit here. Yeah? Back that up. Well, placing it that close to... Is it really worth it? Maybe, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's filling up now. If we go into our water distributor here. Yeah? If we stand here. Yeah, it's filling up. As you can see in the bottom right. Our water distributor is taking in water, so that now, if we go in here, yeah, if you look there, it's distributing. So there it's got, this thing can take quite a lot of water in there, which is nice. If our productions run out of water, that will make it go along. Swear drink still not running. This tomatoes has got a lot of water now, so it's distributing the tomatoes, which is lovely. The tanker should be empty now. Yeah. So every time I want to fill up, I'll fill up this tanker and then get that remaining water into our water distributor. So now we've got tomatoes and strawberries going, which is a great deal. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, everybody. If you've enjoyed it, please do click on that like button. If you want to leave a comment, please be my guest. If you want to share this video, please feel free to do so. For those who have subscribed to my channel already, thank you very much. I do appreciate it in full. For those who have not subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button. Help me grow my channel if you don't mind. I will really appreciate that as well. For those who have subscribed, thanks for helping me grow the channel. Once again, I know it um, sounds like I'm repeating myself, but I really do appreciate all you in full. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next episode. Cheers.